and in this video we're going to take a look at finding the volume and surface area of a cylinder. So to begin with here, let's just give the formula then for the volume and surface area. So for the volume here, V, this is equal to pi r squared times by h. So what we've got here is a cylinder, and this is actually a 3D prism, okay? And on this prism, what we can see here is I've got this circular base. So we've got the radius here, so this starts from the center. It touches the point on the circumference here. So that forms a radius there, which we label as r. We've also got this height here, which we label as h. So for the volume of a prism here, let's just write this down. So for the volume of a prism, this is equal to the area of the cross section. area of the cross section and then we times that by either the height or the length depending on how we label it in this case it would be the height here we times it by the height if we were to apply that then to the cylinder here well the area of the cross section well my cross section here is just a circle in that case then it would be pi r squared we times it by the height here which we label as h in that case then we get pi r squared h there okay and that's for the volume there of a cylinder so we don't just kind of plot this formula from thin air like you can see we're using the properties then for the volume of a prism okay so that's the formula for the volume now let's take a look at the surface area here so for the total surface area we label this here as a so a is equal to 2 pi r squared or 2 pi r squared We've also got plus 2 pi r h and this gives us here the total surface area for a cylinder so again where do we derive this formula from well again if we think about the cylinder here there's three things to consider i've got the surface area here of the circle on top so that would just be pi r squared okay the area of a circle so that's going to be pi r squared we've also got the circle here on the base of the circular base here. So again, that would be pi r squared. Then we've got the outside of the container here. Okay, so if I do that in a different color, do it in orange, we've got this circular, sorry, not circular, but this base on the outside here that goes around the container or around the cylinder. So to think about that, imagine kind of rolling the cylinder out. Okay, this outside part of the cylinder here, this would form a rectangle. So what I've got in total here, I've got this circle on the base, a circular base which has area, surface area of pi r squared. We've got the circle on top again, that would be pi r squared. And notice that gives me the two pi r squared there. So pi r squared plus pi r squared. That gives us two pi r squared. And then what I've also got here is this rectangle, okay, from unraveling the cylinder here. We're going to get this rectangle that will look, say, something like this here. The dimensions of this would be 2 pi r. We'd have h here, okay. So the area then, my rectangle here, a, that would be 2 pi r times by h. Okay, so I might not use A there just to avoid confusion with uh, my formula here for the total surface area, but the area then would be 2 pi r h. Okay, so if we add that as well to give us the total surface area, we get 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h there. Okay, and again, like you can see, we don't just pluck this um, formula from thin air, we can actually derive it just using um, our cylinder here. Okay. But there we have it. So that's everything we need there for the introduction to the volume and surface area of a cylinder. What we're going to do now is just take a look at some practice questions for the volume and surface area of a cylinder. So we start off here with question one. We've got a cylinder which has a radius of 6 centimetres and a height of 12 centimetres. And we can see that here on the diagram. And we're asked to work out the volume of the cylinder, giving our answer to one decimal place. So to begin with here, let's just recall the formula for the volume of a cylinder. So V is equal to pi r squared times by h there, okay? So what can we label here from our cylinder? Well, we know r here, that's the radius, that would be six centimeters. 
So r is equal to 6. The height here, h, that would be 12. So h equals 12. And at this point here now, we've got everything that we need to find the volume of the cylinder. So in that case then, v is equal to pi r squared, so pi, times the radius squared. So the radius here is 6, so that's going to be times by 6 squared. And then we times it by the height here, which is 12. So in this case then, we simplify this here, v is equal to pi times 36 times 12. Again, if we just simplify this here, this would give us 432 pi. We get 432 pi there for the volume. Now, this would be our answer here in terms of pi, but we don't want to give the answer in terms of pi here. We want to give it to one decimal place. So what you need to do then, just put this here into your calculator and in that case then if you do that correctly what you should get here for the volume to one decimal place is 1357.2 centimeters cubed there okay we're looking at volume so don't forget the units here would be cubed i'm working in centimeters so it would be centimeters cubed there okay but there we have it so that's the solution there to question one Moving on to question two here, again we've got a cylinder, so this time we have a diameter of 8 centimetres and we have a height of 10 centimetres, and again we can see that on the diagram here. Now we're asked to work out the volume of the cylinder, giving our answer in terms of pi. So to begin with here, let's just label what we can from our diagram here, the cylinder. So we're told that the diameter here is 8 centimetres, so d here is equal to 8. But remember when we're looking at the formula for the volume, so if we just write that up here, v is equal to pi r squared, we times that by h here. So what we need is the radius, okay, we need r. So if the diameter here is 8 centimeters, then the radius would be half of that, so r in this case would be 4, okay. We don't need the diameter here. We've got the radius equals 4 centimeters, and the height here would be 10 centimeters, so h equals 10. And from here now we've got everything that we need to find the volume of the cylinder here. In that case, v is equal to pi times r squared. If r is 4, we times it by 4 squared. And then we times it by h here, which is 10. So in this case, if we just keep simplifying here, we get pi times 16, because 4 squared is 16. And then we times it by 10 here. In this case, we're going to get pi times 160. 16 times 10 would give us 160. And in this case then, pi times 160. Well, if we give this in terms of pi here, this would be 160 pi there. Okay. This is for the volume here. And again, don't forget the units. So even though we give the answer here in terms of pi, we do still need the units. We're working in centimeters here. We're finding the volume. So it would be 160 pi centimeters cubed there. Okay. And there we have it. So that would be the solution there to question two. If we take a look now at question three here, we've got a solid cylinder, which has a diameter of nine centimeters and a height of 16 centimeters. We're asked to find the total surface area of the cylinder, giving our answer to one decimal place. So to begin with here, let's just recall the formula for the total surface area for a cylinder. So A in this case is equal to two pi r squared, that's the area of the two circles there. And then for the outside part of the cylinder here, that's a rectangle. And that would give us the area then of 2 pi r h there. Okay. So from our diagram here, we need to identify the radius. We need to identify r. And we also need to identify the height here. So the height is nice and straightforward. That would just be 16. So h is equal to 16. Now for the radius here, we need to be slightly careful. So what we've been given here is a diameter. We have a diameter of nine centimeters. So D here is equal to nine. For the radius here, remember the radius is half of the diameter. So the radius in this case, R, is equal to 4.5. So we've got everything that we need here now. Let's substitute these values here into the formula for the total surface area. So A in this case, that would be two pi. And then we times that by the radius squared. For the radius squared here, that would be 4.5 squared. 
And then we've got 2 pi times the radius times the height. We've got 2 pi times the area by the radius, which is 4.5. And times that here by the height, which is 16. Now, because we want to find the total surface area here to one decimal place, rather than giving the answer um, in terms of pi here, all we need to do then is just put this into our calculator here. So do take care when you're entering this into your calculator. If you do this correctly, oops, let's try that again. What you should get here for the total surface area to one decimal place here is 579. We have 579.6 there. Okay. Now don't forget the units. We're working in centimeters here. And we're looking at total surface area, so it'd be centimeters squared there. Okay. And there we have it, so that's the solution there to question three. And finally, we take a look here at the very last question. Question four, again, we've got a solid cylinder which has a diameter of eight centimeters and a height of 10 centimeters. We're asked to find the total surface area of the cylinder, given our answer in terms of pi. So to begin with here, let's just recall the formula for the total surface area. So a is equal to two pi r squared. So two pi r squared. Don't forget the 2 pi rh. Okay. So from our diagram here, we now need to identify the radius here r and the height h. For the height here h, that would simply be 10. And for the radius here again, what we've been given here is the diameter, so we need to half this value here to get the radius. So the radius now would be half of 8, giving us 4 then for the radius. We've now got everything that we need here to find the total surface area. So because we're giving this here in terms of pi, what I'll do is I'll just do this underneath now just so we've got enough room here. So using this formula here, with the values of h and r that we've got here, I'm going to get 2 pi times the radius squared. So 2 pi times the radius squared. So if r is 4, times that by 4 squared. We've then got 2 pi times the radius times the height. I'll put this in one bracket here, just to split this up a little bit. And in this bracket here, we've got 2 pi times the radius, which is 4. And we times this by the height here, which is 10. So for the first bracket here, what we've got then is 2 pi times 4 squared. So what I'm going to get then is 2 pi times 16. We'll simplify that in a moment. And then with this bracket here, well, 4 times 10 would be 40, so I've got 2 pi times 40. Again, we just keep simplifying here. A is now going to be equal to 2 pi times 16. So that would be 32 pi. We get 32 pi there. And then for 2 pi times 40, that would give me 80 pi. We get 80 pi there. And then to simplify here, so, so basically just to find the total surface area now, we just need to add these together here. So 32 pi plus 80 pi, and we're going to get 112 pi there. Okay. And notice here now, our total surface area is in terms of pi. So our answer here is sufficient. And there we have it. So that gives the solution there to question four. And that brings the end of this video on finding the volume and surface area for a cylinder. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at exam revision the volume and surface area.